please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. What's up guys? This is a video from the Guantland uh, Duo tournament. I don't know if I pronounced it uh, right, but uh, the $100,000 tournament uh, which was played last weekend. Uh, it was a Duna tournament and uh, this is from the semi-final. And this, I believe this was our like second or maybe third game. You can only play 10 games, uh, 10 games is uh, the maximum to play. And there was a little bit, I don't know if it was miscommunication or something, but we did not land in the same area. Uh, we were gonna land in the young place here in uh, Paradise. But we landed, um, he landed in the young place and I landed in Paradise. Because I saw that Paradise was uh, empty of people. Um, <clears throat> So here I'm deciding if I should move right away uh, to him because there were two other guys were landing in the young place as well. Uh, but I decided to come and help him because they were uh, fighting with him and he made them pretty low, uh, I think. But as you see what on my loot was, I got like this pistol, an SMG and three dynamites I think I got. And uh, a slurpy that's ticking in, in me. And, and you also can notice this is the replay mode. Uh, there's my mate, by the way, he got knocked down. I don't have like, barely anything to build with. I'm trying to get a cheesy dynamite here. Second dynamite, the third dynamite there, I didn't mean to throw. Although I knocked down his mate with that second or third dynamite. So now it's a one versus one. There he kills, he finished my mate off. So I do the same with his mate. Like the worst loadout at the moment. And that is a hit. Does not look like a hit, but that is a hit, I remember that. So, <clears throat> as I said, this is replay mode, so um, it's too bad you can't see the inventory, you can't see how many players are alive, you can't see. Nothing, not even uh, the circle or the map. Uh, but I celebrated some Kanga here. And <clears throat> but also in this tournament, is uh, so many new things that happen in this tournament uh, format. That you get points for each kill, so each kill is very important to, um, to get, especially in a duo. Uh, if you knock someone down, it's like you really need to work on that because that's one point you get him to actually die, or her. Um, but... Um, besides from that, uh, for the qualification, the worst that you have... I think in duo, it was different from duo, the duo and solo, but in the duo you get minus three in the bus fare, and at top 12 you get back those three, so you don't you break even. But in solo you get only minus two in bus fare, and you go you get plus 3 at uh, top 25, so you actually earn 1 point if you get top 25. Uh, but in this uh, semi-final there was no boss fair uh, due to you can only play 10 games instead. You had 3 hours and in those 3 hours you can play only 10 games. Uh, we played all 10 games because uh, um, we really wanted to, um, you know, Try as many, uh, many games as we could play. Although most of the games, like 80% of our game we played, we tried to make it for the long run. Because you get uh, placement points for top 12, top 7, top 3 and the victory of course. And along the way you get 1 point for each kill. <clears throat> but... Uh, Nothing more like really happens now in Paradise. Uh, I'm still alone here. Uh, although the circle is in my favor, but the circle is around Paradise and this desert area. <clears throat> so I'm just getting prepared with finding some loot and having my mats ready. The only advantage I got uh, now is uh, that people, the duos who will like uh, come to me, they won't know that I'm alone. And that's the only advantage I got. 
don't think I will take the heavy sniper. I do. I think I will trade the heavy sniper for something else. Pretty sure. Uh, but as I said, playing solo versus duo in the semi final for this 100,000 long tournament is like. Uh, yeah, it put me in an underdog position right away. But. Right now, <coughs> considering we can only play uh, 10 games, I really have to like make something happen here. Although we all already got two points uh, for uh, those two guys at the junkyard. As you can see, I'm full in wood. It's a little bit laggy here in Reaper mode. So far we are still alone. And the gold pump was an easy choice. I think I don't know what I'm about to do. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of my favorite sniper for something else, probably the gliders or something. Even though having <laughs> a heavy gold sniper is really good uh, in these uh, tournaments. Um, it's hard to get someone, shoot someone, but it does happen. Although in duos it's even harder because it doesn't really, it's not enough to just shoot someone down. You have to also finish that dude. There we have something going on. Someone has built up there. The entire lap here. Pretty sure I have dropped. I have a sniper, but it hasn't looked like it yet. But I did, didn't take those gliders. They were just in that chest there, popped out. So probably I already have gut gliders because that's what I usually take. The gliders are key, in my opinion. Also, that security when you having a high build fight that if a third party uh, shoots down, you're gonna uh, survive. A second heavy pump purple. But the circle is still in my favor. It actually is. Uh, I think it's gonna be around the desert the whole time. Actually, here while I'm taking the quad bike, I think it's where um, it's gonna end. I'm not sure, but I think it ended there or close to it. But up here is perfect because I'm in the circle and this high ground is like, yeah, super nice to have. And I'm trying to do a um, turret here. Um, not tr trying really, it's not that hard, but I'm building a turret here. Um, always a little bit stressed to do this because at any time someone can just come and push. Also, 
Uh, lucky that this is the right mo uh, mountain with those cactus and some other supplies here. A little bit confused here, and I second time I had uh, I built a floor where I wasn't uh, meant to put it. But I'm full in all the mats, and know that I'm also full in steel. A ball pretty close. And actually, my mate got uh, DC'd right uh, like one minute after I killed those first two guys, so he didn't, uh, he wasn't watching this. Just watching from the lobby uh, for how many players it was still left. <clears throat> we can see now there are more people in the area. I got two guys on that mountain and two guys on the other mountain, and a ball rolling between there. So I'm trying to figure out uh, which guys are close to me and if I can get a sneaky sniper shot and apparently I still had a sniper I was so sure that I had dropped the heavy sniper but my mistake I still have it so that means I probably don't have an SMG and there we go uh, two guys are pushing up this mountain and I don't know if that was the right call when they saw there was a turret here, but it's a good high ground to have and the only thing that uh, keeps them from not pushing me is that they don't know that I'm alone. I have the dynamites and that is a bad sign for me because it's never fun being close to enemies that has dynamite. Although I'm full in all mats still, even though when I built this. Going down, and that dynamite. I don't know if the dynamite should take damage there. And then I think that they weren't able to see there I was alone, but they can probably like, probably talking right now if I'm alone or not. And this is bad timing because I'm building out my fort, and at the same moment they start to push me. Which gets me a little bit off guard, as you can see here. I lost the high ground pretty much right away there. Trying to get back, but he jumps right into me. Uh, gets me for like 100, I think. Uh, or at least 50. So it's time to bail, because I hadn't hit the uh, top 25 yet, so I have no points except those two kills. There, I take another hit. So I have to leave the high ground. Uh, because that building first can cost me so much material and uh, and uh, I meant just that they think I am uh, we are two, I'm one, it's gone. There he is I was too slow with putting up a new wall there. So it's a little bit tricky right now. <laughs> a lot of things going on. And there is his mate. I'm just guessing, but I'm pretty sure that's his mate. And here I actually uh, make a mistake, so I lose the high ground yet again. So it's time to go, and third party comes here with the bazooka. And here I'm a bit shaky because I know that I'm pretty low. I haven't even healed up since the first guys. Uh, so I would probably say that I had around like 370 HP. Now, now, now though, plus two minis. Uh, but also I have burned through like more than half of my mats, I think. Uh, it goes faster than what you can think. Uh, probably burn around three, 300 mats up on the mountain when they push me. And around 300 mats when this guy pushed me. <clears throat> 
so around half I would say I got left. But here is pretty good spot spot because here I'm uh, like just like everybody else, you know. And still like it's not obvious that I'm alone in here. circle I have to move just a little bit to get in a circle like 20 meters I would say I have to move and I know that I'm hurting pretty bad in materials although I got half materials but that's not enough to uh, get far in this tournament so you really need to have as much as you can so I'm going nuts here the storm is about to come just to get every little more material I can get. I have not a clue what's going on on the outside of this house or if there is people close to me. No, the storm is just in my back, so I have to push out. Good thing for me that it's so messy here in the houses, and then it's pretty much easy to just sneak sneak up here. But I need to get in inside the circle. And here we go. And what do you know? There's a ball here waiting for me, which is so lucky that there happens to be a ball right here. And no one gives, gives me a hard time yet. I don't know what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to see where other people are. I'll build out one extra turret here. There's one guy super close, he's above me, he jumped down now. like the best thing with the ball is it's not like you're protected <laughs> except you you don't have to um, you don't have to waste materials while you're inside the ball so the ball for rotation is like so good so otherwise a rotation can you like it cost you like all the materials you have or it costs you like half and no matter what it's gonna cost you a lot to rotate to the next circle because you need to build but with the ball it's a different story yeah, I'm trying to do a sneaky thing and I remembered I'm trying to put myself in here and hopefully someone will come in, see the ball and I can jump out. But uh, I changed my mind here because uh, I don't really know why because I did. Uh, because the, li the likelihood of some someone entering this turret uh, is not very high. The way I'm pointing, uh, not now, but just for a second, that's the direction the new circle is going to be in. Which is also perfect for me, because people around me can rotate and I might be able to get a sneaky shot. Although if I remember correctly, I don't get any sneaky shots from uh, this position. many people that rotate so I think it's around gonna be like 20 people at the moment and we are already moving out to the circle out in the storm which means it's a really late game but all the tournament games are like this especially if it's like this at this level 
in the first game we took in the SEMA final. Uh, uh, not in this small circle, but in a really small circle. It was 60 players left. That's insane. But that's also because it's a duo. Another ball. It's a shilling under there. But this is so perfect because. Uh, I'm not wasting a single mat to get to the next circle. The only thing you gotta watch out for is to don't get someone that uh, can build you in and then put up a trap. This trap will go right through the ball and will take damage on you. But that's the only thing you gotta watch out for. But other than that, you can see enough many people are shooting at me. They are busy with staying alive and uh, running from the storm and taking shots from enemies, so no one really shoots at the ball unless they are like, in a good position. You can see there, I got a couple shots on me because he had those guys, and that guy had high ground and had nothing better to do. I really want to get up there to get that loot and make that happen. Should be around around like four bullets to get broken, and they are unlucky that he didn't build me, build me in. Um, there we go. I'm out of the ball. But I claim the high ground. Fine now to get kills. team here. I think we are at that uh, moment or maybe one more solo player. But no, I think we are... Uh, yeah, it's me versus two. Material I really want and they are trapped in with the storm. Here I should not build that high. I should get more at the low ground so I can trap them with the storm. And that's bad of me, but there you can hear that his mate died from the storm. I hit him pretty good there I think. But he added there and hit me better. So that's it. Um that's it. Uh, so I don't know what more I can say about that game. Uh, I'm trying to really take you through my mindset through that game. Um, but I still got like 10 points for that game. Just to came in second place. Because I got 2 points for top 5, 2 points for top 7, 2 points for top 3 and uh, 2 points for 2 kills. So we missed 4 points there if I killed that guy. And uh, one game I had gotten four extra points. Uh, so that's a shame. Uh, that situation actually happened to me twice in the tournament. I managed to get to the one versus one, and both times I had higher ground, everything was under control, but both times I failed. This time I should have been a little bit lower, would have been easier to control the situation. And uh, the, but it was fair and square, he added, put the floor and he added me down and shot me faster than I could shoot he, uh, that guy, uh, him or her. Uh, so nothing really more to say about that. It was like a 50-50. Uh, we both were like one shotgun shot. Because uh, I know that I did something pretty good uh, first time there. The second time was in Polar Peak where I um, had a high ground and um, but he shot the roof down and of course I had gliders as I always have. Uh, but the gliders, as stupid as they can be sometimes, they outdo uh, the point. So I was just like gliding in the air, so you could just like, you know, like you could dance and take a shot and then dance and take a shot. It was like, I was so 
not that high up, but too high up to do anything about it. So when I'm gliding down, he could shoot me. But in that situation, I tried it to. Um, there was a, a a mountain, a little mountain, like an ice block. That was the high ground, like five meters over that dude, and I was uh, like another ten meters above the, above that ice and ground. So I could just land there. I could just jump down, and at the last second, I can put up my glider to land there, and uh, everything has had. Um, could have gone uh, the right way, but instead it out of the board uh, when I was at the highest point and nothing you can do about that, you just have to glide down so yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something from, from it and I see you guys in the next one